recording this it's not my birthday but it's going up on my birthday so it's my birthday <laughs> i really wanted to do like something a little bit sexy but still with some glitter and a dark lip which i love if you want to see how i got this look then please keep watching all right so let's get started first taking mac red brick with a sedona lace eb09 brush I have a discount code, it will be in the description box below. And I'm applying that to my crease. Then with a Morphe M511 brush, I am softening out that edge. Next with MAC Coral, in the same Morphe M511 brush, I'm applying that to my upper crease area as my transition shade. Next, I'm taking my Morphe 35C palette. I'm taking that brownish shade there, and then I'll be going in with this deep maroon shadow. With an e.l.f. crease brush, I'm applying that to my crease. First with the brown, then blending that out with the Sedona Lace brush. Then with my MAC 239 brush, I'm going in with that maroon shade, applying it to my crease, and then blending it out with a Sedona Lace brush. Then I'm taking more of MAC Red Brick on the Sedona Lace brush and applying that to the crease to soften out that maroon shade. Then with my Morphe M511 brush, I'm going in blending all of the shadows out to make sure there are no harsh edges. Next, I'm taking MAC Nylon with a small shader brush and I'm applying that to my brow bone. Then using my finger to blend out that edge. Next, I'm going in with NYX Colored Felt Tip Liner in the shade Chocolate Brown. And I'm first taking that out in like a normal wing. But then when I go to drag it in, I'm dragging it into the crease and not to the lash line. Then I'm going to slowly start to fill that in and now I'm going to go against the lash line just to darken it up so that my lashes have something to sit on. Continuing to fill in the wing and again going over the lash line. Then I'm just drawing like they're almost like notches so that's going to help the other color blend into this brown. Next from I don't know how to pronounce this Ritual de Fee taking their Viscera Soot pigment with a small flat shader brush. I'm applying it right next to the brown and it's going to act as a transition shade from our glitter out to the brown. Next I'm taking NYX's glitter primer with their copper glitter and I'm using a small lip brush. First I'm applying the glitter primer all over my lip. And then I'm going to slowly add the glitter on top of the primer. Next, I'm taking a makeup wipe and cleaning up the wing and also getting the excess glitter off. Moving on to my face, I'm taking my CoverGirl True Blend Combo Skin Primer. I'm applying that all over my face. And then I am going in with my Becca Backlight Priming Filter with my Cover FX Drops in the shade N20. 
I'm applying that all over my face with my Firma Beauty brush and then I am buffing that into my skin with my contour sponge. Applying it to my pasty neck <laughs> and then blending that out. Then just touching up any places that I think need some more coverage. I decided to go back to doing my foundation after my eyes, especially with some glitter, that fallout. Okay, next I'm taking my NYX HD Concealer Wand in Fair, applying that to my under eyes. And then I'm taking my Firma Beauty Concealer Brush and I am cleaning up those wings and taking my contour sponge to blend out that concealer. This is a Firma Beauty 204 brush to help blend that in then back with the contour sponge. I'm just taking my Morphe M511 brush to kind of buff out that edge there that the concealer left. Next with my NYX HD Finishing Powder, I'm applying that to my under eyes. Then with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Translucent Finishing Powder and my Real Techniques huge, I don't know, Kabuki brush, I am setting my whole face and my neck. Then I took a clean blending brush to soften out the edge again. Again with my Morphe 35C palette, the maroon shade with the MAC 239 brush. I'm applying that to my lower lash line, then back with a light brown shade and the e.l.f. crease brush. I am blending that out. And then using my Sedona Lace brush to help blend that. And then I tight line my upper waterline and apply mascara. Next, from Wildly Natural Cosmetics, this is the biggest strip pigment with a Sigma E36 brush, and I'm applying that to the inner corner of my eye. Again, with my Ritual de Fee pigment, I'm applying that to my lower lash line. And then from House of Lashes, this is my Precious Gem Lash Case, I will be wearing these iconic lashes, popping them on. So this is me saying I'm going to apply lower lash mascara and this is the finished eye. Okay, going back to the face, I'm taking my Milani Dolce Bronzer XL with this chart brush and I'm warming up my face so I'm applying this to my cheekbones. <music> And I'm applying that to my forehead, like my the sides of my forehead, because I do have that alien shaped face. <laughs> okay, a heart shaped face. And I skip the nose contouring because it's the same thing always. Then to highlight, I'm taking my Violet Boss Pro Highlighting Palette, and I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette, and I'm using my Sigma FO3 highlighter brush. And I'm applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm taking a smaller brush to highlight the tip of my nose. The whole point of highlighting is to manipulate the high points of your face. So I'm trying to make my nose seem pointy in that spot instead of seeming longer and more bulbous. Next I'm taking MAC Spellbinder Blush with the Firma 102 brush. I'm applying that to my cheeks. Next I'm taking NYX's Lingerie Lip in Beauty Mark and basically I hyper sped this up because this is definitely not a lip tutorial. I know my lips are small and it takes me a very long time to do them. Okay, at least I'm trying to wear different colored lips. I'm actually really loving this chocolate lip. It's really cool. It feels so edgy. And then I'm taking Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray and spraying that all over my face to set my makeup because obviously if I'm wearing this out on my birthday, 
has to last all night. And this is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you're not already. Bye guys.